In this video tutorial, we're going to see how a block of material, such as that one pictured in the top left hand corner, is affected by temperature change. Now, we've studied thermal expansion in one dimension previously, and we've seen how a material changes length as a result of being heated or cooled. When a material is heated, it lengthens or expands, and when a material is cooled, it shortens or contracts. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to analyze that in the context of three dimensions. So we're going to look at the three dimension changes for our block when it's cooled from a temperature of 18 degrees C down to a temperature of 2 degrees C. And once we've evaluated the change in each of those dimensions, we can calculate the change in volume as a result. Now note that because the block is being cooled from a temperature of 18 degrees to a temperature of 2 degrees C, each of those dimensions are going to contract, therefore the volume is going to contract. That means our change in volume is going to be negative. On the right hand side I've included the formulas that we need here. We have the change in length equals the thermal expansion coefficient or the thermal expansivity alpha times the original length times the change in temperature. And as previously, the new length is just the change in length plus the original length. All of our changes in length here are going to be negative because we're cooling the object. It's going to contract in all three dimensions. So let's begin then by calculating our change in length in each of our directions. So for our change in length in the x direction, we have our thermal expansion coefficient of 7.5 times 10 to the minus 6. We have our original length of 140. And we have our change in temperature. Take care here, T2 minus T1, 2 minus 18. That's going to give us a change in temperature of minus 16 because we're cooling the object. That gives us a change in length in the x direction equal to minus 0 0.0168. We know that's in millimetres because we used our length value in millimetres. Let's repeat for the y direction. We have 7.5 times 10 to the minus 6, this time multiplied by 35, and once again multiplied by our minus 16, giving us a change in length in the y direction equal to minus 0 0.0042 millimetres. And our change in length in the z direction is going to be exactly the same as in the y direction because we have a square cross section. So here we have our y direction, and here we have our z direction, and we can see that each of those are equal. So minus 0 0.0042. So now we have our change in length in each direction, we can calculate our new length, because the new length is the change in length plus the original length. Our length in the x direction is the change in length minus 0 0.0168 plus the original length of 140 giving us a new length equal to 139.9832 and our y and z directions again are going to be the same they are minus 0 0.0042 plus 35 giving us 34.9958. Okay, so next we can calculate the new volume of the block, because the volume of the block is those three dimensions multiplied together. We have 139.9832 times 34.9958. 58 in our y direction times 34.9958 in our z direction, giving us a new volume equal to 171.438 cubic millimetres accurate to the nearest whole number. So the final step here then is to calculate our change in volume. And I'm just going to clear some space on the left hand side and then we'll calculate our change in volume. Okay, so change in volume is the new volume V 
minus the original volume. Change in volume then is one seven one four three eight minus our original volume, which can be found by multiplying one forty, thirty five, and thirty five. Our original volume, this part in the bracket here, actually comes out as one seven one five hundred. Once again, that's millimeters cube. Therefore, our change in volume is 171438 minus 171500, giving us a negative answer, minus 62 millimetres cubed. The significance of the negative there is that this object's contracting as a result of being cooled. If we were to heat that object, we would expect it to expand, and therefore our change in volume would be positive. The key to ensuring that this is calculated correctly is ensuring that our values of T2 and T1 are determined correctly. T2 is the new temperature. Here our new temperature is two degrees. And T1, the original temperature, was 18 degrees. The change in temperature then is negative 16. The object's being cooled down by 16 degrees. So I hope you found this series of videos useful and thanks for listening.